Hey there folks, Elliot here. Have you ever stumbled upon an iPhone, iPad, or even an Apple Watch that has this annoying message popping up saying it's locked to owner, also known as the iCloud activation lock? Yeah, it's like finding a treasure chest, but not having the key. I remember the first time I encountered it, I felt like I hit a brick wall and it seemed almost impossible to solve. But guess what? After diving deep into the realms of the tech world and wrestling with loads of information, I discovered some pretty slick ways to tackle this issue. So today, we will show you how to solve this pesky lock, and I'll show you multiple methods that are not only totally legal, but also feel like magic tricks. Grab a seat and let's make that lock disappear. Before that, this info is only for folks who genuinely own their device, but just forgot their access info. We're all about playing fair and square here. No funny business like messing with stolen devices. Let's keep things legal and respect everyone's rights. Our video follows all of YouTube's rules, so we're good to go. So d diving right into the services that are absolute game changers when it comes to dealing with the iPhone lock to owner message. First off, there's lock to owner. It's like the superhero of unlocking services, swooping in to clear away that pesky iCloud activation lock. Then we have iUnlock app, another mighty tool in your unlocking arsenal. I found it to be super user friendly and it really takes the edge off the whole process. Oh, and let's not forget about safe unlocks. Imagine having a tech savvy buddy who's got your back. That's safe unlocks for you. It smoothly guides you through the unlocking process, making it feel like a breeze. Last, but certainly not least, unlock here's AI powered unlocking web app. It's like having a master key, but in the form of a super intelligent web app. It's kind of the future of unlocking blending technology with simplicity in a way that's just, well, awesome. Remember, all these services are here to be your helpful friends in this educational journey. They're not just about getting the job done. They're about empowering you with knowledge and tools to take control of your devices. Stay tuned because coming up next, we'll dive into how to make the most out of Unlock Here's AI Unlocking Assistant. Just a quick but important note, the unlock services typically work best in first world countries. Now, if accessing these services is a bit tricky or maybe they just don't tickle your fancy, no stress. We've got a cool offer where we dish out 250 unlocks every single week to our amazing viewers. Want in? It's super easy. Just smash that like button, hit subscribe, and drop a comment with your device's model like iPhone 8 along with your IMEI and country. And boom, you're in the running. So go on, get those entries in and keep watching our videos for your chance to win. All right, let's dive straight into unlocking your device on unlockhere.com, a fantastic AI assistant powered web app that's about to become your unlocking buddy. Open up your browser, whether you're on a phone or computer, and head over to the website. Once you're there, you'll meet Nifty, a friendly AI bot ready to assist you. Let Nifty know you need an iCloud unlock by clicking on activation lock. Then you're going to choose your device. If you have an iPhone, go ahead and select that, but it works just as well for iPads and Apple Watches too. Now it's all about the IMEI or serial number. If you're dealing with an iPhone, you'll use the IMEI. For some iPads and Apple Watches that have a SIM card slot or cellular capacity, you'll use the IMEI as well. But for most others, you'll be using the serial number. Finding this is pretty easy. Just press the sleep button on your locked device, tap the I on the bottom right, and there you go. All the info you need is right there. And with that information in hand, enter that here to continue with the unlocking process. Next up, you'll enter some basic info to link the order to your account. Make sure it's the real deal so that you can receive your order confirmation. Now ensure you tick the box to agree to the terms and please only move forward if you're not trying to unlock a stolen device. Before you continue, make sure to click I'm not a robot and solve this quick captcha. After that, hit the start process and bam, you're on your way. Heads up, check your email, including that sneaky spam or junk folder for a confirmation code. Once you've got it, grab that confirmation code. Hop back to unlock here and enter the code. Then shortly prove you're not a robot. And don't miss to tap the button to validate info. And just like that, the unlocking magic begins. As you can see here, we swipe up to see the iPhone locked to owner page. In this part, it really takes time and patience. We wait for the unlock process to activate the phone. And as you can see, we swipe left and wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Don't worry, it will be worth the wait. You will enjoy your phone once again, once it's finally unlocked. So we wait for a few minutes to activate your iPhone. Patience is the key here. And voila. In this part, let's skip all the setup 
Don't worry, you can go back to them later on. Make sure to check the terms and conditions and skip the next steps and just set it all up later on. And there you have it. It says, welcome to iPhone. Now go to settings and create your own Apple ID. Tap forget password or don't have Apple ID to create a new one. And here just add your personal details to continue. And here's a shortcut to check your device info, making sure that this is legit. Great, your device is now fully unlocked and ready to use. All right, let's talk about a couple more ways to tackle that pesky lock. First up, ever thought of just chatting with Apple support? Yep, they can actually be a big help. If you have the original invoice of your device, that's like having a golden ticket. Just contact Apple support, show them the invoice, and they can assist you in removing the lock. It's their way of making sure you're the real owner, so having that invoice is key. Now, if that doesn't work or you wanna try something else, there's another way. You can go ahead and reset the Apple ID directly on Apple's website. It's like giving your device a fresh start. Just go to the website, look for the option to reset your Apple ID or password, and follow the steps. It will guide you through the process, helping you to get back access to your device. So there you go, two more arrows in your quiver to help you remove that lock. And don't worry, we've got more helpful tips coming up next. Getting that iCloud lock off can also be a job for some specialized software. There's stuff out there designed just to unlock your device. But here's the thing, you're gonna need a Windows computer for this. Not everyone has access to one, so this might not be a fit for everyone. If you decide to try out this software way, be super careful about which one you pick. There are loads out there, but not all of them are the good guys. Some might not work at all, and some might be hiding nasty malware that you definitely don't want. Even though iCloud Unlock software can be a big help, there's always a bit of a risk when downloading stuff. If you wanna keep things safe and smooth, you might wanna check out online services like Unlock Here or Safe Unlocks. They are like the online buddies that help you without needing to download anything. Here's another savvy way to get rid of the iPhone lock to owner message, especially if the seller is still around and willing to lend a hand. This method is like a tag team effort where the seller jumps back into the ring to help knock out that pesky iCloud lock. So here's the game plan. The seller should first make a pit stop at iCloud.com. Once they're there, they'll log in, cruising in with their iCloud credentials. Next destination, find iPhone. This is where they'll spot the device that's all tied up and select it. Now it's time for a little cleanup. They'll click erase, giving the device a fresh start. It's like wiping the slate clean, making sure it's ready for its new owner. But we're not done just yet. To make sure the device isn't playing hide and seek under their account anymore, the seller needs to click remove from account. Doing this tag team move with the seller is a smooth strategy to get your iPhone feeling all free and easy again. That's it for today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We hope that these methods will help you unlock your phone.